you'll notice that every uh, valley or ridge has got a bolt through it. That was the way they did it in the day. Now, they had a cyclone here in the 90s and it started to rip part of the roof off. And these days when a cyclone hits something like this, it will tear sheets yeah. off. Well, this just peeled back. Yep, mm -hmm. it took them a fair while to get it Fix back it up. to where yeah. it should be, but yes. Uh, as I say, it was built in 1859. Um, the John Darien Station, which is just over here, it comprised of something like 300,000 acres. And it um, had little outstations because it was so big. And anyway, the very first shear over on the homestead, this is before this one was built, the, the, um, the shed was very crude. It had no roof at that time. The shearers turned up to do the first shear, and the owner apparently was a bit of a tyrant, a bit hard on the man. And the conditions weren't very good, so they got halfway through the shear and they, they said, out. <laughs> Tools down. Yep. And he said, What's going on? And uh, they said, Well, we're not going to do any more shearing until you start treating us a bit better and giving us better conditions. He said, Oh, well, we said, You might as well, there's a gate, off you go. So they left and he got scabbed labouring to finish the shear. And uh, but the first lot of shearers got wind of it and come back and burnt the shed down. Ooh, wow. So that would have been the kick-off of the union movement. Yeah. So but how, how did we get to become the custodians of this this building and the museum? In 1977, I think it was, the local primary school was having a centenary. And um, they wanted something to feed a thousand people. And there's nothing around but wood and somebody said, what about the wood shed? Because it was sitting dormant because oh. it had been broken up the 300,000 acres and sold off. And this was just let go. Anyway, they come and had a look and a few of them said, oh, I don't think we can get it done in time. And a few of them said, well, hang on. How yeah, about we try it? They did. I mean, the dance floor wasn't great. No, no, no. But they pulled up the floor straight no, out. some bales of hay around. <laughs> anyway, time of the celebration, the um, owner, he was Mr Rutledge, Laurie Rutledge. He was here for the celebration and he could not get over the spirit of the people, of their love and affection for the woolshed mm. and John Darian. So he turned around and said, some time later, he said, um, I will donate the wool shed and 12 acres on the proviso so that you develop into a um, museum to our shearing past, our wool past. So they formed a committee, and that was 50 years ago, last September. And we used to have here what they call the Australian Heritage Festival. Over in the Caravan Park, you'll notice there's two cottages, the Amendes block, and then there's a building with, I think it's five rooms, which is our rustic cabins. Yep. And then there's the Shearer's Quarters. So that wow. has all that. There's a building on the other end of that, a big one. That was our cookhouse. Yep. And they've got three field staves in there. And what they used to do is the ladies would, um, and the blokes. Mm -hmm. I actually met a man the other day. He was here 45 years ago. And he would get up at uh, three o'clock in the morning and get the fires going. So they could cook their breakfast and into it. And yeah, well, it was a big job cooking for shearers because you had to. You had your morning teas, your afternoon teas and all that, as well as if they lived right. on site, yes. you had to have all yeah. the meals. Yeah. Yes. Mm. So, yeah, but that, now at the moment, at this time in the game, we've only got about maybe 30 active volunteers, maybe 40. So we're trying to get that back up and going and mm. so we can get the place That's back cool. where it should be because it's been closed because of COVID for a few years. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, it's... Interrupted everything. Been it? open and closed more times than the screen door in my house. Mm -hmm. But we're determined. We've got yeah. the right yeah. management in place. The council is behind us. 
And we've just got to motivate more volunteers to come on board because in 2027 we'll be celebrating the Heritage Festival. Right. So we will organise a Heritage Festival for that and that'll be steam engines and Bullock, oh, okay. bullock driver and oh, that'd yeah, be good. Um, camp yeah, oven really cooking and all that sort of thing. Mm. So, and then in 2020 or oh, in 2025, we've got a big steam fest happening mm -hmm. where people come from all over they the will, world to they, they will, yeah. um, see good. what's going on. So, and it's such a beautiful atmosphere here when it happens. It just everybody pulls together and. And you've got yes. the space for it. That's yeah. it's just fantastic. Oh. I was just imagining a barn dance. You know, we, uh, that's what we used to have years ago. Yep. Because you didn't have, like, money to go into, you know, buy yep. higher things. So somebody would open up their shearing shed or their barn. Yes. And you would bring in the hay and everybody would come around and help get it ready. Yes. And then they yes. had the local fiddle bands. and. Yep. <laughs> well, we've got uh, New Year's Eve here. Of course, it's been closed. We haven't had it for a couple of years, so but we're having it this year. And we've got the Ridge Edge Band coming back, and we're having a fellow that is well known for his um, uh, campfire cooking. Yep. Uh, he's going to he's a chef and whatever, so good. he'll be putting on a good feast. Excellent. Uh, yeah, and I the accommodation is almost booked out. I'm finished. Thank you very much. The John Darien Woolshed is proud to be one of the oldest and largest woolsheds in Australia. A stately monument, it celebrates the rich cultural and pastoral history of the Darling Downs region. The iconic heritage listed woolshed that stands on the grounds today commenced construction in 1859. In 1863, the station was purchased for £108,000. Today's value would be $4,320,000. Today, the Woolshed is owned by Toowoomba Regional Council and operates as a separate entity. It is one of the most iconic venues on the Darling Downs in Queensland, Australia. In 2019, John Darren Woolshed was celebrating 160 years since it was established. John Darien Homestead is a heritage listed homestead at Evansley Road, John Daria, Toowoomba Region, Queensland, in Australia. It was the base of former John Daria Pastoral Station, which was originally taken up in 1840 and at one time was the largest freehold station in Queensland. Wondarian Station was originally taken up in 1840 by Henry Dennis, and the homestead site today includes a number of early buildings, including the kitchen from the original homestead erected in 1844, and several outbuildings constructed during the early 1860s. The John Darien Homestead property is located on Evansley Road, about 3.5 kilometres, 2.2 miles, southwest of the township of John Darien, which is approximately 45 kilometres, 28 miles west of Toowoomba, along the Warrego Highway. The property is partly bordered to the north by Oakey Creek. Significant structures of the John Darien homestead complex include a kitchen, butcher's shop, shearer's quarters, stables, dairy, toilet block and store. The present house was built after the original one was destroyed by fire in 1937. There is camping available and you can contact www.johndarianwoolshed.com.au